an eclipse, a solar eclipse, which is the trending thing right now, uh, occurs when the moon on its travels passes between the earth and the sun and blocks out either totally or partially some of the light of the sun from us as observers on earth. That happens quite more frequently than we know, but we're not all aware of it because of our location on the earth. And also it's only so, ever so often that there's a perfect alignment so that all the sun's light is blocked out and that's called a total solar eclipse, which is totality. The partial eclipse occurs as the moon's shadow is falling um, across and it occurs quite slowly. Uh, I think we would always is due to last here between about 12.20 and maybe 4, 4.30, 4.50. And that's when the light is progressively blotted out in the sun. The radiation from the sun is very damaging to the retina. And on an ordinary day, we live under the sun, especially us in the sun belt. But we have reflexes that protect us from that light and that radiation. We shield our eyes, we squint our eyes, we turn our heads away from the bright sun. What will be different on Monday the 21st is that it will be comfortable to look at the sun. Uh, as the shadow falls across, um, as the sun is progressively ob obliterated, it's going to be comfortable to look up and it's going to be intriguing to look up and our curious minds will want to see. And if you haven't been well informed, you won't know that there's still damaging radiation entering your, your eyes. And so people are being advised not to attempt to look at the sun at any time, whether during an eclipse or any time without protective eyewear. So we're asking people not to wear regular sunshades, not to wear filters that you're not aware of, you know, how reputable the, so the sources are and to not take any sustained looks at the sun. Watch it on TV, especially for small children, and try to encourage our teenagers and our young adults to make pinhole devices. You can make a very simple projector for the eclipse by just a piece of cardboard, very cheaply, with a pinhole, and that you focus the sun's light onto a surface or onto the sidewalk, and you can actually watch the progression of the eclipse right there safely.